Hey guys, Liam here, Vance Frag, showing you how to run Windows games on a Mac. And what you need is Cider, and that'll be in the link. In, there'll be a link in the description. And what Cider does is just makes it play on Mac by doing certain stuff, which I'm going to show you. So um, it will say Sims 3. It's actually not Sims 3. The guy who made it must have had Sims 3 on it, or whoever he got it off. So what you want to do is once you downloaded it, you want to click right click on this, go show packets contents, contents, resources, and go down to the bottom where it says trans gaming, C drive, program files, and there will be a folder called electronic arts that's actually got nothing in it, so you can just delete that. And now you want to put the game in there you want. Obviously it'll be in a folder so I'm just testing frets on fire. It's just like it's guitar here for PC. Very small file. Um so yeah we've got that in there and then we're gonna go back, 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 back into where you're in the contents and you've got to go in, open up info.plist and open it up in text edit. So what we do after that is go back into resources, trans gaming C drive, program files, rats on fire. Oh, whoops, no, don't go into the actual game. And Sirius has got program files there. You want to um, press enter and control C just so you copy the name. And you want to go back to, you want to go over here where it says the name of it. Obviously, this I copied the other one from GTA, but this will work. Oh yeah, the games I've got working on it is Borderlands and GTA San Andreas. So yeah, they're the games that use it. So you go Command V just to copy. Actually, you don't do it in there. That's the name for the game. So we'll come back to that later. Um, see where it goes here. It says Rockstar Games. You don't want that. You want Control um, V Program Files. So it's actually going to program files, not Rockstar Games. You want to do that same to that. And then you want to go into here. Where it says frets on fire, you just want to press enter and then command C to copy. And where it says the name of it, you just got to control V, command V, just copy, paste it. And command V to do it again. So it's just giving it the directory for it. And now we just got to do the last thing is find the exe. So you've got to go into here, frets on fire, enter, command C to copy. Whoops. Back to the thing. And don't copy the exe, just copy the name and go command V. The name of the exe. Okay, um so yeah, we've got that all in. Let's go back into it. Sorry guys, just exit that. Uh show us contents. Contents. Resources. Trans gaming. C drive, and files, threats on fire, so I'm just going to command C just to copy that name and then go all the way down to the bottom and command V. I mean, it's command C to copy and command V. Most of you should know that. They have a Mac, I'm quite new, so just get used to it. And where you had the name before, you need to go command and V to paste it in there. And now, you're going to go exit and save. And now what that does is just locates the game and it should be able to play but um, we'll go into it. Show packets contents. All right, yeah. Uh, contents. Uh, resources. Uh, trans gaming. C drive. Program files. Frats on fire. Because we're just trying to change the icon now, so we want to see if we can find an icon in there. Um, I think if it's a PNG, it doesn't work, but we can try this. Um, so, what we want to do is just get info. It's not coming up with the actual icon for some reason. I think it has to be a different format. So, yeah. But it doesn't really, you don't really need to change it now. You can change it whenever you want. So you want to right click and you just convert it to make it the right format. And 
I just want to press enter and change the name to like well I've already copied and pasted that but I've already got it so what you want to do now is just double click on it and it should load this one go open I don't think it'll come like that sometimes it should load the Sims 3 screen I don't know why it does that but that's just it loading the cider and then it'll go into the game so yeah this game when I actually already installed it was already screwed up so I don't know why I showed it but yeah so okay alright guys Event Dragon that's it isn't it Okay, sorry guys about that, let's just get out.